Hi, this is Poet Spice Jamie Lola Tallulah, and I'm here to do a coloring tutorial with the Spectrum Noir Aqua Markers. Here I am showing you the aqua markers that I'm using. I'm also using some 65 pound white cardstock, the waterproof finesse ink, and this stamp from Crafters Companion. So, this is a Crafters Companion video, y'all. These are some water brushes that I got off of Amazon, I believe, but it could have been HSN. And I'm also using just a clear plastic piece of packaging to put the colors down on here. And I'm putting them in the order from lightest to darkest. And then just take the water brush and do a little squeeze of some water out here. And then you can go in and mixing. Now I slid that white piece of cardstock under there so that you could actually see the colors that I'm dipping into. So I'm going to take some of this brighter color and I'm just going to go over the highlights of some of these petals on here. So basically you want to do a three color blend. I mean you could do any three colors that you like but um, it's easier if you do obviously some closer colors. So I'm taking this color, the petunia I believe it was, and just putting some of the color in. Some of it's straight from the palette and some has a little bit of water. Of course the more water you add, the lighter the color will become. So you actually could do three color shading with just one color in increasing the amount of water. So I'm going back to do the same thing in another layer of petals. And basically you can just follow the lines and put your your color in another way you could do this although that I didn't do it this way is just simply take the brush and just do a wash of the lighter color over all of the parts in the, the image and then you could go back over top so here I start adding the middle color and just kind of doing the shading. So anywhere where it would be a little darker, I'm putting that darker purple color. Anywhere that would cast a shadow gets a darker color. It's actually kind of fun to go back and do these. <laughs> it's a pretty simple process, just once you get the hang of it. Now here's another little tip though, when you do in different media. So watercolor is typically not going to have that same strength of color, the vibrancy that you're going to get if you use a marker. So you can't really expect a watercolor piece to look the same as it would if you had colored it with alcohol markers, Tombow markers, or anything like that. Even just putting the colors out on the palette, if I had gone straight to the paper, they would still be more vibrant than if I'm using the water with them. There, I'm just showing you an image, the image closer. I did mention before that this is 65 pound cardstock from Michaels. It is not watercolor card. Um, so you can see that you actually can do some watercolor painting in various media on items that you have. You just have to be aware of the amount of water that you put on here. So if you put too much, um, it will start to buckle, it will start to peel, but if you are careful, you don't really have to worry about that too much. I know I get questions about like, well, what kind of paper are you using? And do you have to buy the special paper? No, you don't. You can use 65 pound cardstock or you can use 90 pound um, Canson mixed media paper. Here I'm adding the darker color. So the darkest of the three. 
and you just keep going back over different areas where there's lines and shadows you'd put the extra darkness the extra darkness that sounds like a song <laughs> And this wasn't an extremely long process. This took about 18 minutes in real time to do. And now what I would actually do after this is go back in with some colored pencils or even some of my Spectrum Noirs and go back and refine some of the lines just because I like that mix of mix of media. <laughs> Here I'm going to put on the lighter color and using more water to get it a little brighter on the tips because that would be a lighter part of the flower. And if you see something you don't like, you can go back and add, darken, add some water. You can lighten it up a little bit. Just be careful of the amount of water that you use. And if you're impatient, you could always take a little heat gun. <laughs> All right, so now I need to do the center. So I'm pulling out some of the yellows and then I'll pull out a brown as well. These I go straight to the paper. And then use some of the water to blend it. And that's another way that you can use your watercolor markers. I need some more dark. So I want another level of darkness, so I'm putting the in this color. And there's the image. So I was going to start this other image and I decided to do a, just a different video for you. But here you have all this watercolor paint left. So just take a scrap of paper and put it in there and clean it up. Okay. Add some more water and then you can get some more of that up. And then you have a background piece that you can use for some other project. Now I'm just using this scrap, but you can see how the colors are blending and mixing and the water's making it move and shift. What I like to do with pieces like this is called paradelia, I think it is. And it's basically like cloud watching. So what can you see in the patterns? That's so fun. I love that. Okay, so I got to a point where you just go ahead and clean up the mess when you're done. And there you go. So if you like this video, just let me know. And then if you'd like to see more, leave comments below. Thanks for watching.